One of the primary missions of the Railway Tie Association is to provide educational resources on the subject of pressure-treated wood cross ties to its members and member companies. RTA's flagship seminar on tie grading is the most intensive learning experience offered by the association. Conducted annually, this event has been designed to appeal to veterans of the wood tie industry and newcomers alike. In addition to learning the basic nomenclature and structure of wood, students are taught how to tell the differences between softwoods and hardwoods. Then they receive instruction in detailed species identification in the section of the course known as Wood ID 101. We've talked about rays being used to help separate out the red oak and the white oak. Broad rays are nice, easy to see. But remember that cross section I showed you for the beech and the sycamore and the oak, just comparing the size so that you understood that the beech and sycamore did not have broad rays? You can use the ray size on the beech and sycamore to distinguish between those two and also help distinguish those from maple. Instructors also delve deeply into tie specifications and give tie graders the knowledge of what to look for when it comes to defects that may limit tie life. You see it there with that ice on it and the tree's bent over and then the ice melts and the tree eventually straightens back up. You think, well, the tree wasn't hurt. Well, it was. These are the fracture zones that are left inside the tree and it'll grow on and be bigger and look healthy. And it is healthy. It's just got these uh, fractures in there. And as many times as the tree gets bent over, that's as many times as you see these ring separations. Another important lecture in the seminar is on manufacturing plant hygiene, education on what to do and what not to do to ensure the effective and efficient processing of wood ties. The other risk you have is the longer you leave it on the stack, the more risk you have of fungi and insects attacking. All right, if you leave a piece of wood out for longer than three months, anywhere in the United States except maybe some very, very dry areas, there's a, the probability is probably 90% that there's something, some decay fungus growing in it. Wood treatment practices, how a wood preservation facility works, and the pressure treatment process itself are also among the many subjects covered in this annual event. Students also receive hands-on training in wood identification and tie defect recognition. This occurs both in the classroom and at a manufacturing facility where they practice their newly learned skills repeatedly and in graded, timed practicums. In addition to all of this, the agenda includes a tour of a modern wood preserving facility where they experience firsthand material handling techniques, material processing and grading, air dry storage yards, treatment plant configuration and technology, and much more. Final grading and certification is accomplished in the last day of instruction with test winners featured in RTA's member publication, Cross Ties Magazine. From the vast array of take-home materials including the tie guide and wood ID kits, to the instruction, to the hands-on learning experience with some of the industry's leading experts standing at your side, this is one educational experience that you cannot afford to miss if you work with wood cross ties. Join us at the next RTA Tie Grading Seminar and don't miss your opportunity to become an authority on tie grading.